Hello everyone, um, I'm going to show you now how we join our acrylic sheets together to make the uh, acrylic pen for the Year 7 project. So that's one that's already been made and as you can see we've got three sheets of acrylic that have been laminated together um, using a solvent uh, and that's what I'm going to show you now. The demonstration that I'm going to give is just joining these uh, three pieces of acrylic here. The uh, middle piece there has got the channel cut out which is where the, uh, the refill is going to go for your pen. So let's just have a look at the, uh, the chemical that we're going to use. This is a solvent. Um, it's probably the wrong term to say that we're sticking the acrylic together because we're not, uh, we're not using a glue as such. We're using this chemical which is dichloromethane which is a solvent and it will dissolve certain types of, of plastic. Um, it will uh, dissolve HIPS, high impact polystyrene sheet. Um, so if I was to drop that on there it would actually eat into the surface and, and scar the top of the surface. Just to show you how, uh, how this can affect polystyrene, I've got some expanded polystyrene here uh, which is the stuff that you're familiar with from uh, packaging and bean bags etc. It's the same stuff as, as the hips uh, but it's uh, much less dense so it has much more of a dramatic effect when we put the solvent onto it. So I'm just going to show you this, I'm going to put some solvent on top of expanded polystyrene and you'll see, uh, you'll see quite a dramatic effect as it starts to dissolve the polystyrene sheet. So it's not going to have the same dramatic effect on your acrylic because your acrylic is much, much more dense. Um, so I'm going to show you now how we're going to laminate our acrylic together. First of all, make sure, of course, that you, you've peeled off the surface. It's very easy to accidentally leave it on. And if you do that, it won't actually uh, join together. So I'm going to take off the surface. And when we... Um, when we put the dichloromethane on, the solvent on, it's going to literally fuse it together. Um, so if you imagine that it will, it will become one piece of acrylic. Um, the best way to sort of explain this, I think, is to, um, is to look at this stuff. Uh, this is Play-Doh. You can't smell it, but it smells absolutely lovely. Um, you would agree that we have we have two pieces of Play-Doh there. If I put them together, squish them together, fuse them together, okay, if I then asked you how many pieces of Play-Doh we, we, we have, you would say, well, there's, there's one piece there because it's all fused together. And it's the same with the acrylic. We're going to join three pieces of acrylic together with the solvent uh, and it will effectively become one piece because it will have melted the surfaces together. So we're going to have a go at this now. Um, using our applicator, make sure you've got no dust on, on the top of your acrylic. I'm just going to very gently uh, flood the surface of the acrylic with the dichloromethane, with the solvent, um, but I'm not going to go right to the edge because what I don't want to happen is, uh, as I put them together, I don't really want the dichloromethane to go over the edge onto the table. It won't affect the table, but what it will do, uh, due to capillary action, it will actually draw it underneath, uh, which will be the surface of your pen, so it will scar the surface. So we do need to be quite careful. We need to be quite liberal. So I'm putting some on there, but not going right to the edge. The middle piece goes on. Okay, I'm just moving it around a bit to spread it and then put gentle pressure down and that will probably take uh, 30 seconds to a minute to uh, to fuse together properly. In fact that's good enough now that I can just move that to one side. I'm going to do the same on the the other piece of acrylic. Turn over, same again move it around, spread it around, line it up, put pressure down, push down hard. Let's wait a few seconds. And again, that's gonna take about a minute. I've got some on my fingers here, so as I'm pushing down, if I didn't have this protective surface on, I'd probably end up actually getting a fingerprint uh, etched into the, into the surface, which we don't really want. 
So there we go. That's the uh, the bottom of the the mat there that's come out. Well, that will come off. Okay, it's probably a good idea just to keep the coating on for as long as possible. There's my coating there because obviously that's protecting the surface. So that now is ready to put your masking tape on and you can then mark the, the shape of your pen that you're going to cut out um, ready for putting the refill in. Okay, that concludes the uh, tutorial for how to attach and laminate your pieces of acrylic. Thank you very much.